the Bering Sea. Arctic storms and heavy ice, all converging to make the job of catching crab a living hell. It's the January Opelio crab season, and the average death rate is one fisherman per week. And as fatalities mount, this season will once again prove that Alaskan crab is the deadliest catch in the world. The green hills of October have given way to a frigid Alaskan winter. The stakes are high, and the risks will be even higher. Over the last 15 years, 67 fishermen have died. This prayer for a safe return plays out many times on many boats. I bless them, Father. Give them safety, every single one, Father. Every single one will be safe. On their way out of Dutch, the fleet steams past a maritime graveyard filled with the rusting hulls of boats that were not spared by the Bering Sea. The season is only hours old, and an Arctic storm is bearing down on the fleet. But in this high-stakes game, there is no turning back. My guys need money. They need their families, need kids need shoes. The Northwestern races ahead of the pack to stake its claim in the fishing grounds near Russian waters. As the storm comes in, this crew gets their first taste of freezing salt water. On deck, Edgar Hansen is celebrating his 34th birthday in true fisherman style, knee deep in fish guts. This is close to a party as I'm gonna get. In the wheelhouse, Captain Sig hears a disturbing report from the Coast Guard. An EPIRB from a crab boat has been activated. Every boat has an EPIRB on deck, an emergency position indicating radio beacon. The beacon is registered to the fishing vessel Beacon Valley, which is gray and white in color. Keep a sharp lookout for the signs of distress and assist if possible. Break. The Big Valley is missing. Gary Edwards is an experienced captain of more than 14 years. Oh, uh, Big Valley, Big Valley. You there, Gary? Pick me up, pick me up, Gary. Could mean that uh, the boat has rolled over and uh, sunk. Means it could have uh, fallen off and is on its deck. The Maverick is closest to the last known position of the Big Valley and heads quickly to search for the boat. Hey, guys. Yeah. I'm going to uh, turn our sodium off and uh, see if we can see something flashing in the water. Sure. Looking for their eat perp link, and here we got the Cunnilingus Marie and the Maverick. They're still doing what we do. Take care of our brothers. Well, let's just pray right now. So, just the name of Jesus, we ask those boys to be safe. At 9:40 a.m., it's still dark when a Coast Guard search and rescue helicopter arrives and hovers over the coordinates. And the search intensifies, but the Big Valley is nowhere to be seen. At 10.15 a.m., the Maverick's crew spots a lone bait bucket floating on the surface. Moments later, they see another. It's clear now that the Big Valley has sunk, and there are six men somewhere in this freezing water. Now, they look for a small orange life raft and hope it's filled with six survivors. In this 37-degree water, even men in survival suits won't last long. The shock of impact with the icy ocean can lead to an immediate heart attack. As the body rapidly loses heat, it protects the vital organs by cutting off blood flow to the limbs. Soon after, all vital signs will cease. survived more than 10 minutes. And I think that um, our partner, Skipper, has just passed away. So we lift him up to the Lord and ask for mercy for that. It's a sad day. <laughs> At 
At 12.45 p.m., the Coast Guard helicopter spots a crew member in a survival suit floating on the surface. He is hoisted into the chopper, but all attempts to revive him are unsuccessful. For the crews of the search boats, the delayed season will cost them money. But right now, one of their brothers is still in the water, and that's all that matters. Now, the search is focused on the sixth man, in a survival suit, somewhere in this rough and frigid sea. Own the Deadliest Catch experience. Buy Deadliest Catch on DVD. Go to discoverystore.com to bring home all the adventure. Order now. This is one catch you don't want to miss.